Uh, hello guys, this is Nitesh here and in today's uh, session I'll be going to show you that how to execute the commands uh, inside your pig shell that is inside your grunt shell. So let's have a look. So this is your terminal. Start with the terminal and you have to start uh, with the command that's your pig hyphen x map reduce. So basically this is uh, here we are inside your fully distributed mode. Uh, though the one more mode is there that we call as your local mode. That's basically the two execution environments are there inside your pig. But in this case, I'll be going to show you the, how to execute your commands inside your fully distributed mode. For that, uh, for that, we'll be going to write a command. That's your pig hyphen x map reduce. So that will take you inside your. So now you can start uh, with a command. That's your ls. That gives you the list. As you can see, we are over here inside some of the files over here. So for that uh, you have to move out from your local host. Now you can see present uh, that's uh, pwd that's uh, basically the print working directory. So presently where you are it gives you and based on that have a look the list of the files that's your list of the directories which we have created earlier and which is present inside this uh, your grunge shell. So now first of all uh, the thing which we'll be going to do over here that's uh, creating a directory. So first uh, we'll be going to uh, make directory. For that you have to give a command fs hyphen mkdir followed by space followed by slash uh, give a name. Any name you can give. So in this case I'll be going to give a name that's your pick. Click on this as you can see. Uh, now you can check out whether your <coughs> pick file has been created or not. So as you can see now this is your pick directory which has been created just now. So now let's move ahead and move inside this directory. That's your pick. Uh, for that we'll be going to give a command that's your cd pick. Click on this. Uh, now you can check presently where you are. That's your print working directory. So as you can see now you are inside the pick directory. That's the name of the directory which we have created just now. And the next thing that you have to do have a look inside ls. Nothing is there. So in this case uh, we'll be going to copy our two uh, input files from our local system. As you can see behind having two files. We have just taken a random input file that's your fruit quantity where you'll be getting the name uh, the name of the fruit that's your fruits and the quantity. It's how many uh, like fruits are there with the particular user. So basically based on that we'll be going to perform some operations. So this is uh, your first input, that's your fruit quantity, the other one that's your fruit quality, the other one. We are having over here only two uh, columns, that's your name and the other one that's your quantity. Let's uh, load these uh, input files inside your grunge shell. For that we will be going to write a command, that's your fs hyphen, copy from local, your f and l should be capital. The next thing that you have to do is drag this file but before dragging you have to just make it bigger. Why? I will tell you why we are like enlarging our screen. Your terminal, that's your terminal over here. This is your file, input file, drag it inside it. And now as you can see you have to remove these single quotes. Now followed by the name which we have created that's the name of the directory inside the pick now let's have a look so as you can see inside your pick your input file has been inserted that is uh, inside your grunge shell now again the next step that we will gonna do is as you can see we are having one more input file so let's uh, follow the same steps followed by fs copy caps lock f from local that's the command. Same procedure. Drag this file over here. Remove these single quotes. Followed by the name of the directory. That's your pig. Okay, some mistake has been there, I guess. Okay. As you can see, mistake was arising over here. So now check it again. So as you can see inside your pig file, <coughs> that's inside your pig directory, we are having two input files. That's your fruit quantity. The other one that's your fruit quality. 
Uh, now the next step that you have to do is the quantity, like uh, the check the input files, like what are the things which is present inside your input file. So you can have a look by using the command cat food underscore. That's our first file. As you can see, this is our input file inside your fruit quality. Now check for your fruit quantity. That's the another file which we have taken. So as you can see, this is uh, our input inside your fruit quantity and this is input for your fruit quality. So this is how uh, followed by the command we can check it that what are the things like uh, just present inside your input file by following the command that's your cat uh, followed by your input file name. Now the next step is that you have to give an alias name and you have to load these input files in one of the alias the things which I'll be going to do over here have a look followed by a caps lock a over here and writing a command that's your load inside your single quotes you have to give uh, the input file name so in this case let's copy this okay some mistake has been arise actually that uh, moved to it that has been shifted ahead so in this case just make it clear now do the thing all the steps you have to load the files by writing the command load followed by your file name that's in file name food underscore quantity or uh, this is the second file which we are going to load inside it followed by the command pick storage and here guys you have to be very precise with the steps that uh, that is uh, your P and S inside your pig storage it has to be in caps lock yeah. inside your single quotes you have to put a comma why because your input file which you are taking that is your comma separated so basically it is your delimiter that is pig storage inside your parenthesis we are having single quotes and inside single quotes we are having comma that's uh, your comma separated files and the next thing that you have to do is as and inside this you have to define the data types the things which you will be going to take so inside your fruit quantity let's have a look as you can see we are having three sections that's your three columns inside your fruit quantity so this is your name this is your fruits and this is your quantity so based on this we'll be going to name our data types so name will be your care array here guys uh, stress facility is not there so in this case we'll be going to take a care array for your character array types and same case with your fruit, fruit will be going to take a scare array followed by your quantity, quantity that will be in the form of integer. So this is how we put our commands mainly to load the input file inside your one of the alias name. While using alias name inside your pick shell, we'll be going to analyze our data sets. So now as you can see, we have loaded inside your alias name, that's your capital A. So in this case, we'll be going to dump it dump is a command like uh, mainly to retrieve your output inside your picture so following the command dump followed by the alias name that's a where we have load our input file click on this as you can see this is your files which is running and apart from that it is a uh, it's the like a back-in process that's your mapper and reducer so this is your output so as you can see this is the output which we have inserted inside your uh, caps lock a that's your alias name so same case with your uh, fruit quality because just now we have uh, done that is uh, loaded for your fruit sorry quantity now we'll go ahead and uh, load the other file that's inside your b followed by the same command load single quotes you have to write the name of the file that's your fruit underscore quality following the command using pick storage inside your parenthesis you have to put your single quotes and inside single quotes you have to take it as a comma that's the comma separated files so write it as as followed by the parenthesis where you have to define your data types that is the thing inside let's have a look what exactly the things inside your fruit quality so inside this we are having two 
columns. One is your name and the other one that's your quantity. So in this case, your name will be there, followed by the data type that's your care array, and again, quantity that is in your integer format, followed by your termination. So as you can see now, we can load the thing. So input file has been loaded inside your B. So now you can have a look by writing the command dump. Through this command, we can easily able to retrieve our input files, as you can see. So as you can see now, it has loaded inside your B section. That's your B. Now, guys, though we have loaded first input inside your uh, A section, that's the alias name of our first input file and the alias name B for your second input file. So based on that, we'll be going to perform some of the operations like your group, co-group, join. So basically, these are the operations that we'll be going to perform. So for this, again, guys, though we are having two alias name for the two different input files. So now, one more alias name should be there for the operators, where after like performing some of the operators into these two input files. So based on that, we'll be getting the output inside this new alias name for this. Let's have a look. We have taken X. <coughs> Group is a name of the operator that we'll be going to perform for A. We'll be going to group A, that's your input file, by name. So in this case, straight here, we can write it as. So now, you can retrieve the output. As you can see, this is uh, your processing is on, and based on that, uh, though it has performed your mapper reducer, that's your backend process. Right? So based on this, it will gonna give you the output like this. So this is how we perform the group operator within your input files. So as you can see, Joe, Mayank, Lakshay, Prabhat, Prabhat. So as you can see now, your input has been grouped into this. Uh, though, like uh, inside, you can have a look that how our input looks like inside your food quantity. So as you can see, Prabhat has been repeated two times. So in this case, it has sorted the file and based on that, it has given, they have grouped of things. Instead of repeating two times, so they have grouped in this section, Prabhat orange, Prabhat cherry. Yeah, this is your output uh, based on your group operator. Now, we'll be going to perform the other <coughs> operator that uh, we call as your co-group, common group. So that will be between the two input files. Both your input files will be included in this operator. Along this operator, you can have a look. Followed by the command, co-group operator. A by $0. Here $0, it denotes the first field of your input file. Comma B by, again $0. So now this is the thing. Now as you can see, output looks like dump x, that will be the output. So as you can see, this is uh, behind your mapper reducer is still is on process. It's taking time as you can see. So this is how our output looks like. This is your common group. So as you can see over here, this is basically the common group between the two input files. And based on that, the first field, uh, input A, as well as first field of your input B. So based on that, they have showed us output like this. And one more thing, guys, here, you can have a look. This is your core group. And guys, here, it will going to give you the output basically in the form of your nested form, the curly braces over here and next curly braces over here. So basically that we call as your backs and next thing that I'll be going to perform you, that's your join operator. That will make you more clear about the things that uh, while joining the two input files. Let's have a look. This is a join operator. You'll be going to perform between your A by dollar A. Again, that's your first field. It denotes Again for your B, that's the alias name for your second input file. So based on that now we'll be going to join the first field of your input as well as from your B input too. So now followed by semicolon that will terminate the thing 
and next step that you have to do is write the command dump dumpx So as you can see, this is our output based on the first field which we have taken from your A alias name of your input uh, file and B alias name from your second input file. So based on that it will give you the output but uh, they are in a flat structure. So this is the difference between your join operator as well as your co-group operator where uh, they perform the same operation that is like joining the two different inputs based on the first field but here based on the join operator followed by the command I will be going to get the output like this that is in the form of your flat structure as you can see inside we are not having any of the curly braces but if we talk about your core group that will give you the nested structure that's basically inside some sections you'll be getting some curly braces so that's uh, the difference between your co-group as well as your join operator and apart from that guys uh, we are having some more operators like uh, you'll get to know as you can see we have taken name quantity and that is in the form of int and name that is in the form of your care array so this is basically it describes the element that it uh, prints the relations schema that's your describe and one more operator let's have a look that's your describe a that will give you the description of your A that what exactly the data types which you have taken and what are the column names inside your uh, A input that's your alias name of A so this is how we can get to know what exactly the things which is present inside your data so same case with your describe B you can do it based on that explain operator you can write it as explain A, that will give you the uh, output that basically it prints the logical and physical plan. So as you can see this is your map reduce plan, you're having physical plan, you're having new logical logical plan. So basically these are your uh, plans which will be going to show you after writing the command. That's your explain operator. And one more command is there. illustrate command have a look what it will give you the output so illustrate a and basically show you the sample execution of the logical plan that's your illustrate so this is how operators work inside your picture so thank you guys that's all for a big session thank you and have a good day